I think, yeah, we, I think our segment is media and live performances. Um, do you want me to say something or you guys want to ask questions first? You can say something. <laughs> say something. You motivate us. <laughs> Don't say that, man. No. I'm just here to give you what I've learned. Okay, I think just to start with live performances, guys, I've just I'll literally watch you guys do your thing right now. And just small feedback, because as much as I was standing there, I was observing. You guys need to go and... The mic died. Okay. I think the battery's dying. Are you good now? Okay. That's another thing. So do you on back to CD, check things like that. Um, do a bit of background on how to perform. I saw guys holding them. Watch the difference. Guys doing this. And then you're rapping, and then we can't hear you. You get what I'm saying? The guy who rapped before the singer, where is he? The guy with the flow. Can I get up? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll remember the guy. I'm sorry, I'm just weird like this. Um, let me see, let me see. No, before him. There's a guy before him. There you are. You got a dope flow, man, but we couldn't hear you. You get what I'm saying? It's very important for you guys to... You, Becca was saying no, but the, the beat was loud. I'm like, no, 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 projection. Don't forget that, that when you're on a stage, you're there to project to people. People are watching you, so you must be able to be heard. You can have a nice flow. So what? You're there to give feedback. When you sing, when you, whatever you're doing, the projection is very important. Because he's an editor from Hype. He might be watching you, and maybe he's like heard about you, and he's like, hey, maybe I want to put him on the Mac, but your performance is bad. What happens? Yeah, it's all about branding. So I'm going to talk also about branding because I think that also part, falls part of live performance. Your, your brand is who you are. I think Oz also touched a bit about it. But what's important is that I've worked with a lot of brands like WHP, as I said, iFunny. If you notice, all of them have one thing in common. Their brand is very constant. So as a brand, you need to make sure that, that your live performance is as good as your music. It's great to have a song on, on radio. If you can't perform, then you're not gonna get anywhere. Trust. As somebody who's part of the Back to City, you know, team, I go out there. That's part of my job. Also, us, us sometimes get too busy. Like, yo, tell us who's, who's hot, who can perform. It's great to have a single, but if you can't perform, trust me, I'm gonna tell us I'm not gonna book you, because you have to perform. You're performing to twenty thousand people and. You understand? You're also representing our brand. We can't be putting somebody who can't perform. So it's very important for you guys to intern also. Go chill with Beko and say you want to go with TLT and see what they do. How do they prepare to perform? Give away your time to learn. I think that's the biggest problem having now with the new, the new age kids. Sorry to put it like that, but yeah, the new generation is that I interned with Vosilu, who was an A&R at Universal and EMI for a whole year, literally following him, learning how things work, you know, and understanding what it takes to be where he was, understanding what it has to be an artist. So if you give away your time and just say, okay, Shab, I'm going to chill with TLT for six months, yes, you know, making money from it, but what you're learning is worth way more, way more. I, did, I can tell you now, what I find we performed for a whole year. That's another thing. Sorry, I'm going to be jumping around. I hope you can connect later. Another important thing is that when you're doing live performances and you're an up-and-coming artist, we don't, we don't know you. I don't need you to get on stage and do 10 songs and irritate us. Be smart. Choose your two singles, perform your two singles, and get off stage. Trust me, I'll remember you more than I remember Questa, because... I know what Quest is going to perform. I don't know you. You get what I'm saying? So be very smart about how you approach um, your performances. If you see that it's a long list of artists, don't get, don't try and hog. I think the biggest problem we have at Back to City, people try to hog the stage. No one cares. I'm, I'm very frank, like, no one cares. Do your performance and get off so that people can remember you. Keep the energy up. You, you get what I'm saying? Are you, I, am I making sense? If I'm not making sense, you can stop. So it's very important to have a plan. So I'll say I'm, I'm giving you like things that I've done that worked. So 
What I find it, I find it really scary. I don't know if you know the song. So we sat down, we had a plan. I know Elo, they said you must have a plan. I think Sam said that. So we had a plan, we're like, okay, no one knows you. No one cares about you. How do we make sure that becomes the opposite? So I said, okay, sh you know what? I'll speak to every promoter that I know. All we want to do is do two songs and out. We perform one song that no one knows and perform anywhere. For a whole year, for free, free. No money, using our own petrol, sleeping at hotels by ourselves, paying for everything ourselves, for a whole year. If Jula was here, I'll tell you, like I used to call Jula also, and he was like, no, you can't perform on live, no one knows you, like, shut we'll build a brand, so it's built, again, the building brand thing. For a whole year, literally, to Lesotho, went to Lesotho even, we didn't care. If you said to us, come through and perform, we'll perform. We don't, we don't, we didn't care, it was not about um, trying to be a superstar or anything, it was building a brand, so literally, everywhere we were, we were everywhere, we, we were every single, way. like, we performed everywhere. Two songs. If you asked us for more, we didn't. Like we said, no. Two songs in an art, and that helped the song get bigger, and help that help him get bigger. Just to link the whole example, Casper does that. If you noticed with new singles, he's been performing Shasha for a while. If you notice his performances, <laughs> if you think about it, Tito Boyen he's been performing it. You know, you get, you get what I'm saying. It's a brand. He builds the brand. By the time he drops the single, everybody knows it, you know? It's like, oh, I know, if it gets on radio, I think I know that song. Like, where, where did I hear that song? But you heard it when he was performing it. So it's all about branding. It's all about building a brand. So please, guys, whatever you do, intern. Intern. Like, it's as much as you think it's a waste of money, whatever, and you'll learn a lot. Like, I've learned so much from just interning. Like, Fosilu was a guy at Universal who was just A&R, and also, yeah, work with a lot of A&Rs. I don't know if you know what A&Rs do. That's important, because they will shape your, your mixtapes, your albums. I, I listen to a lot of albums and mixtapes. It's just guys going left, and then one, two, three, the song's going right, then the fourth song's going right, left, and then if I'm a consumer and I'm listening to that, I get switched off. Is that you're building a brand, so you you have to have a strong album or mixtape. And I hope people know the difference. I think that's what I noticed from Back to the City and Hip Hop Awards that no one knows the difference between an album and a mixtape. Uh, everyone understands the two. You are you sure? Because <laughs> everyone's looking at me funny. <laughs> you guys understand the, the difference? What's the difference? Not all. Of, not all. Okay. So. All right, a mixtape is where you can experiment with different sound and different features, whatever you want to do. It li literally is, I'm just out there, do whatever. I think I'm, in America, I do it very well. So you see 50 Cent, he'll do a mixtape, and he'll either dissing people on the mixtape, or he'll chop and change his verses, you know. You take a verse from that old school one, and then you put a new one here. You get what I'm saying? It's literally chopping and changing. When it's an album, it's a concept. So if I want to say, okay, I'm doing a album called Hype. I'm going to do a whole album around Hype. You get what I'm saying? So when uh, it's a body of work that has a concept, that has a direction. When we say there's no need to, you don't have to have a direction. You can do whatever you want. So I think that also you need to understand those things. Because I'm hearing a lot of weird <laughs> mixtapes and albums where just, just like no direction. It's very important. It's also part of your live performance. Um, I just want to ask, so if I'm a, okay, I'm Indy Ray, I'm a vocalist, um, and I want to know if I am a debut artist and I want to release a project, would you suggest I release a mixtape or an EP, and um, what do you think is appealing for you? Like when, you, when, you, when you're making your first project, like what are you looking for as a listener basically? What would you look for as someone who's booking someone or trying to get someone on the back to the city stage? Okay, uh, very good question. Um, what you have yourself, what you want to do with the material. The best advice I always give people is do a, do a mixtape, right? Um, do a lot of features, very important. Features help you also build your brand. So associate your brand with the people that you want to 
grow with. You know what I'm saying? I know some big artists get very uh, whatever, but do features. A lot of people are talented here. Do features because it also helps you grow. So first thing is depending on what direction you want to go. One, two, start from scratch and target community radio stations. The biggest mistake everybody does is they want to be on YFM. Oh, guys, uh, YFM. Uh, YFM. What else? <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like, okay. Oh, you know, everybody, like, I get a lot of emails every day. Yeah, I'm playlisted on YFM. Like, so? <laughs> what difference does it make on the world? You know what I'm saying? So, if I see that you're. Because community radio stations have a big plugin, and that every single hood has a community radio station now. Why are you not on those stations? Why are you not on Soto TV, Bay TV? Those things are very easy to plug in. So if your reach is big, um, you know, you can't tell me that you're on one station and you're going to tell me that you're going to try to impress somebody who's trying to book you. you. So that's very important when you're trying to start up. So to answer your question, it doesn't really matter. It's about your plugins as well. Type of thing. Yeah.